brand new Harley Davidson 2023 breakout. Somewhat new? Welcome back to another video guys. Today we are gonna be talking about the brand new Harley Davidson 2023 breakout. Somewhat new? Mm. Somewhat new. Not really. Not really. It's a it's a it's a yeah. new year yeah. bike, but yeah. it's it's an old bike they brought back. <clears throat> with improvements. All right, so it's been some time now since Harley Davidson did their 2023 launch on the 18th. Um, and then a lot of people have been talking about the breakout. So that's what we're here to talk about today. Talking about the breakout. Um, I can't remember the last time we did a video talking about the breakout. It was when it got axed out. Yeah. You remember? Yeah. That we, we, we were we were talking about the bike bikes that could possibly be leaving and we were right about that. Yeah. And then we did a, a video talking about that and I mean the breakout leaving to me was like, yeah, whatever. That was in America, it never left overseas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, supposedly it's big overseas in Australia. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's more of a European looking yes. bike. It's a, it's a beautiful bike, don't get me wrong. I, and I'm not hating on it. Anybody who has a breakout, I'm not hating on a breakout. It's a beautiful bike. Is it a bike for me, personally? No, but it's really cool. I like seeing it. I mean, the thick tire in the back looks awesome. Um, but let, let, let's talk about some of the changes that this year uh, they changed the gas tank. They went from a 3.5 to a five gallon five gas gallon tank. Which is huge. Um, they went up to a 117, mm -hmm. which was before what? It was what, uh, 114, 114, right? yeah. It was one. Well, they made them in 107s also. And in 107s, yeah. yeah. Well, at first they came out, because I bet came out in 2013, right? Or so? 2012, I think, with the, with the twin cam, and then 2012, 2008. but it was a 2013 bike. Yeah, 2018. They came out with the Milwaukee Eights, and back in 2018, you can get them 107 and 114. Yeah, but now they're coming out, obviously with the 117. Uh, a lot of chrome on it. Um, they look really good. Like I said before, with that uh, five-gallon gas tank, giving you a lot more, a lot more range. Um, and then one thing that they also uh, changed out was the handlebar. So the handlebars are now up and back. Up and back. So you're which, not like that. You see that? That's one of the reasons why I uh, didn't like it. Cause you're like I didn't like it. Yeah, I was super uncomfortable. Even me, I was like, because I'm 6'3 and I have my legs, but I had to reach to get to the bars. Yeah. So the, the, the breakout coming back, like it, you care for it or not? Nah? Yeah, actually, when I first watched the, the reveal, I was terribly disappointed. <laughs> you know, and then, then I'm screaming at the TV going. Why, why were you disappointed? Because I, I was expecting more and I didn't get it. And I'm screaming at the, the thing when, they, when they're going on, LEDs, LEDs, just give us LEDs. I would, have, I would have been happy just with LEDs, but couldn't even do that. Mm. So they come back with a breakout, 117, change the handlebars, bigger gas tank. I like the wheels. I think they're similar to the, the older really stylus. Nice. Yeah. And then they put cruise control on it, traction control, but that's optional. Yeah. So I don't know how much that costs or whatever, because I was looking on the website and I didn't see a price for it. Um, I mean, the fact that they added cruise control on it is pretty Yeah, cool. they added cruise control to that in the Fat Boy. I mean, and the low rider S. At, at that price point as well, it, it's should, like, have it, it should have it already. So it should that, have LEDs too. That, that's, that's another thing is that that, that bike is... High that, priced. It, it's it's kind of highly priced. And for what it was before, I guess it would kind of like scare people off. Because um, it's supposed to be like kind of like a, a performance cruiser, cruiser in a way. Yeah. but. It's a straight line bike. That's what it is. It's just a straight line. Yeah, it is. You want to turn, it's eh. Yeah. It's, you know, it's, it's the like, only thing that steers worse is the Fat Boy with the big 160 in the front. I mean, it's basically the same setup. Yeah, same rear tire, yeah. yeah. Basically. Yeah. But, um, what was I going to say? Man? No, I mean, it came out with it or whatever, and I, you know, I thought it, in the beginning, I was like, eh, but then I'm like, after we had a week to go over stuff, and I'm like, I really like that bike. I mean, it's a cool looking bike. Would I get one? Maybe. Maybe there's a possible trade the Lowrider S for a breakout. Ah, you, know, you still have the Lowrider S, that's right. That's right. So what, you thinking about trading it then? For I don't a, know. a breakout? I'm going to look into it. I got, I'm waiting for the models to show up. I want to see the anniversary paint, but I don't think I'm going to, I don't really like the emblem. But the breakout. The badge? Yeah, I don't like the badge. I like the badge. Yeah. I like my badge on my, my streak light better than my 2018. 
but I don't really like that batch. It's like from off a of 97 Softail Custom. That's yeah, nice. It's, I like, yeah. I, listen, I think with the paint job this year, I think it's beautiful. I, I like the it red. Looks, with it the looks gold. like an El Diablo. If I bought El Diablo similar. last year, I'd be pissed off. Yeah, similar. Yeah. But um, even even on the on the road glider and, and the street glider, you're gonna get the the ST wheels on it, same color wheels. They, they look yeah. awesome. It looks really good with that red. I'd like to see it in person. Have you seen anything in person? I haven't seen anything. In person. Uh, Bergen hasn't gotten one in yet, so as soon as they do, I will be doing a review on that. So tune in for that review. I definitely want to see it in person. And you know, they did a good job with the seat. I think the seat looks cool. I'd have to see it in person. I like it. I, I, I think, you know, they, they it's it's an anniversary bike. It's, it's not like an icon bike where they could just go, you know, do so many other things. But yeah, I mean, for, for being an anniversary bike, the paint job's cool. I like the wheel option. I like the fact that they did something different with the with Yeah, the they seat. only came out with like six models and then the CVO. Yeah. CVO, I'm not a fan of. I mean, um, I'm waiting to see the rest of them. I want to see the rest Hopefully of them. Hopefully for, we're just talking about that, we're talking about why they didn't release him yet, but hopefully for Daytona. Daytona I would say. It, it, it doesn't make sense for Harley to wait till July July to release party. CVO, because that's a ton of money that's not going to be made throughout from here to July. Mm -hmm. A lot of time. Um, so if they get people in, I, I'm assuming, hopefully for Daytona. CVO buyers are, they, that they're specific, like if most guys that buy CVOs, they'll buy another CVO. I mean, a person who buys the CBO has the money, yes. and it's like, and if they want it, they, they want don't want to wait. And they don't want to wait. They, they so want we're going to wait till July and say, oh, well, we might as well wait till 2024. Exactly. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Because they would, you know, I mean, I, I, I was hoping to see the CBOs. I mean, I'm glad it was only 18 minutes long instead of 42 minutes or whatever. I felt like it was a bit too short, and I felt like a little it was short. really rushed. Yes. They, 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 didn't, they didn't spend too much time on the anniversary bikes. I wanted to see them more in detail, more yeah. close up. Um, the breakout. You know, like, I, I, they, they should have spent more time on everything. It was just very just... Maybe fast, another year. Rushed, rushed, Less rushed, than rushed, a half rushed, hour. Like, whoa, where are you know, we going? 25 minutes to a half hour would have been Yeah, good. it was cool, though. Yeah, but, um, but going back to the breakout, do you like the changes? Yes, absolutely. Do you think that the changes will make it more appealing now? In the US, to, to the U.S. market. Yeah, because I'm going to say overseas they sell anyway, so the yeah. people that buy those bikes will buy it. Yeah. yeah, but people, I've been talking, you know, a couple of people that have older breakouts, like twin cam breakouts, are actually considering buying that bike now. Really? Because now they have a fuck out tank, you know, they like their breakouts. Upgrades. Yeah. Because I think originally when they, they came out on twin cams, the tanks were bigger anyway, and then they shrunk them down. I can't remember on the twin cam. Um, I know the, the earlier model earlier, was the 3.5. Yeah, um, the Milwaukee 8, like the anniversary, I almost bought the anniversary one, so I bought the anniversary fat boy. And it had the flat blue paint. That, that's what it was, I was gonna ask him, like, you had a break, I'm like, no, you had a fat boy. Fat like boy. Okay. 2018 anniversary fat boy with the, the matte finish. Not oh, a fan man. of matte finishes. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not too big on on matte. No, colors. after it got damaged, you had to replace the whole fender. You know, I had a, my A83 was a matte black color, yeah. but I mean, I think for that bike, I think that's like the only bike that looks like perfect. Actually, matte the, the new Knights to Rest with the matte with that '70s AMF that looks good. I like that decal. Yeah, I really like that decal yeah. a lot. It looks really, really cool. What do what, what you think about the the Knights to Rest? I mean, they added a couple of things. It's not really. I, I, I want to ride one. I still haven't ridden a Nightster. Well, I've well, ridden a, a Sportster S, but I've never ridden a Nightster. What they did was. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah sure, see, sure. speedometer, pegs, and $1,500 to the price. They stripped, they stripped the, the, the regular Nightster down now. They took the, the little cowl off the front. So now the little fairing is gone. It's on the other bike, right? It's now it's on the on the S, and the S has different wheels, and it's ready to up. Mm -hmm. Um, I I think it looks great. I, the, even with those little changes, I'd it have looks to ride one. Really, but really it's cool. Expensive. It's a fun little bike. It's really expensive. fun. Expensive. I mean, if I'm going to spend fifteen change, I might as well spend the extra less than a grand and buy the Sports the rest because that thing holds out. Yeah, I mean that that's a bike that it's I uncomfortable as hell. I haven't had too much seat time. The little time that I had on it, it was really uncomfortable for yeah. me. But me too. It, it, it was it was like a little uh It's a good zip around bike. Ride. Oh yeah, yeah. for sure. I it, mean you hit four thousand RPMs in that thing in sport mode, you hit the throttle, oh, yeah. like rip your arms. It was off. Long, long yeah, off. My, it's yeah. a fun bike. It looks it's beautiful, beautiful design. That, that bike yeah. is gorgeous, man. Really cool. I wanna definitely spend some time on it. Yeah. So we'll see. Um but yeah, man, uh, Breakout, you happy it's back or not? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad. I mean, they could have like some, some people even saying they they could have added the 117 to the Fat Boy or some other models instead, but. I mean, they did make improvements to the bike, and that's what it's basically all about. They're making improvements. They should make some improvements to the touring line, hopefully soon. But they're making improvements. I mean, it seems like they're listening, but they're they're kind of like a little slow in getting there. Look, he, he and, and I understand you. I'm 100 percent on board, but at the same time, it's like, how much improvements can they do to something that sells so well? Well, right, you know, so if, if 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 that's your bread and butter and it just sells no matter what like yes People want to see changes and I and the changes do come Very slow yeah. here and there next Cer year. I think we'll see cer more. certain changes I think should have been done from a long time ago like yeah. LEDs and I mean we, we they just the started suspension. doing they, they just started doing the, the is adding day makers on, on touring bikes just yeah. like a few years ago if anything, you know, but stuff like that You know upgraded the suspension that's yeah, something that, that they can do. But as far as, you know, adding drastic changes, I mean, I highly doubt. No, the drastic like changes that. are going to come with the Rev Maxes because that's going to be the future. So that's, that's where the drastic changes are going to come. I mean, but if we get a new touring frame, then we probably get a new engine in there too. Because yeah. if they're going to redesign the frame to go mono shock or for better suspension or whatever, then they're going to put a different engine in it. Yeah, I'm, I'm good with my uh, with my Milwaukee Eight. I'm good with my Milwaukee Eight. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Um, anything else? No, I mean, what else? Well, I want to see the bikes. I, I'm, I'm just it's, it's kind of slow. The new bikes getting in right now. The, the dealers are still getting. They're getting 2023s, but they're not new bikes. They're still the carryovers. No, no, no Bergen's getting a bunch of new bikes. They just got uh, a few more yesterday. Two, I, I know, blues, Swords to Rests. Uh, yeah, yellow, but those are, black. Those, are, those are carryovers. The two-tone blue 2023? The gray Not blue? the color. The bikes are carryovers from last year. There's nothing new. Oh, you're talking about the brand new? talking about the brand, brand new, new, like the Sports to Rest, the Breakout, uh, the Trike. I want to see the Rogue Glide Trike. That yeah. looks pretty cool. Yeah, that does. I like, sure. the, I like to test drive that. Yeah, I mean, you could probably get that bike for yourself in a year or two from now. Yeah, because I'm old. <laughs> Definitely, you can definitely get that bike. And, Actually, my wife and, could ride and, that and, bike. And it's a shark nose now too, so yeah. Hey, I'm I'm on board if you got one. The blue is really nice with the black. I, that does look really yeah. nice. That 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 looks really. I want really to see cool. the person. The Same wheels thing. look nice too. Yeah, the wheels are really, really cool. nice. Really really nice. I like, I like. I mean, they came out with some good stuff, and I understand we don't want. We're we're hoping for so much more. Because we thought of the anniversary year, but it'll probably be next year because they, they're focusing on the anniversary. Well, so usually we, it's the year after the anniversary. Well, we, they do we still have that big homecoming event in July, and I'm yeah. pretty sure they're going to be unveiling some cool stuff there. And then, you know, they, they like to sprinkle some stuff throughout the year as well. So, yeah, icons, like I said, I can't, we don't want to wait until July. Here and there. Sprinkle some stuff in Daytona. I'm pretty sure they will. And then, Daytona. then go Daytona's huge. to July, and then you can, you know, put out some Daytona's other huge. stuff. In Sturgis, okay. you could do some stuff too. Yeah, they'll, they'll sprinkle stuff here and there. Uh -huh. um, drop your thoughts and comments down below. Let, let let me know what you think about the breakout. Like I said before, I'm not crazy about the bike. I think it's it's a nice looking bike. I like to see it. It's not the bike for me, but it's definitely cool, and I'm happy with the changes that they made. I think it uh for the U.S. market, it'll help out a lot yes. more. Because um, let's be honest, the reason why they, they discontinued that bike here and not overseas is because it just wasn't selling. It, uh, the U.S. market was just not a, at the time, and it wasn't even that long. It got axed two years ago. Yeah. A year and a half ago, you know? So, I mean, could it be that within that year and a half or two years that now people are like, oh, wow, yeah, I kind of want to break out? Who knows? But I think the changes they did to it could definitely... Uh, see a bright future for it I think it might be a bit more appealing yeah we'll see how it sells this year or whatever and, yeah. you know because they didn't come out like you know they didn't make like 10 anniversary models they, did, they, they could have made a breakout an anniversary model but I guess they didn't want to take that chance or that would you know I mean they got the they did, they did a fat boy so they're like, fat boy and heritage yeah so you know and then the rest are all tour but anyways, that's going to be it, guys. If you want to see more content like this, you're definitely in the right place. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button. So I'm going to notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. Like always, this is Jerry, coolest white guy I know. Let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace. Peace.